Hello friends, it's Jackie Laura Jones from the 24th Hour with another dose of inspiration from A Course in Miracles. And I wanted to talk to new or seasoned course students. And this is just a reminder that miracles in A Course in Miracles are shifts in perception. So if you go to chapter one, the meaning of miracles, and that first miracle principle says, there is no order of difficulty in miracles. One is not bigger or harder than another. They are all the same and all expressions of love are maximal. So interesting, isn't it? When we think of miracles, A Course in Miracles is not talking about physical miracles or what we would call miracles happening in the world, okay? The Course is a course in cause and not effect. Cause being the mind, effect being the world, according to A Course in Miracles. So when we are choosing the miracle, we are choosing to shift our perception, to shift our perspective from what the Course calls the ego's way of looking at what we made, the world. We are shifting to the Holy Spirit's perspective who reinterprets what we made and uses what we made to get us home. So it can be confusing sometimes when we're starting to study A Course in Miracles or if we've studied it and feel like we're not getting anywhere. We're often thinking that Jesus or the Holy Spirit is speaking to us as a body. And it's natural for us to think that, right? Because that's the experience that we're having. However, the Course is teaching us that that is a false experience. And the Holy Spirit's interpretation of this dream, this holographic time-space projection coming from our mind cause, the Holy Spirit's interpretation is that we use what we made as a classroom to get us home. We use all the images, the people, and the situations that the body's eyes are showing us to return to the mind, shift our perception. And what happens is we remember that we're dreaming. We remember that there's another way to look at the events in our lives. It takes us out of victim mode and into empowerment, our true power, which is in the mind, which is at cause. So anyway, I hope this was helpful, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. You can check out my website, 24thHour.com. You can go to my blog page and find some other videos and inspirational things from the course, and you can check out the interview page where I interview visionaries, different authors, and there are several interviews, wonderful ones about A Course in Miracles. So be well, everyone, and I'll see you soon.